june thirteenth st anthony of padua doctor of the church known as the ark of the covenant and also as hammer of heretics for his deep knowledge of scripture and his skill at applying it in polemics to defend the faith and make converts of many st anthony was pronounced a doctor of the church in nineteen forty six by pope pius the twelfth he was considered the greatest expert in scripture of his time he knew everything in scriptures and was able to quote it by heart he knew even its most obtuse and arcane passages he not only quoted them but he used to comment on them and draw concrete consequences from them in order to smash the heretics arguments and encourage the faithful st anthony's style was combative in nature as he would debate and defeat heretics he did not have ecumenical dialogues with them god would confirm his support for anthony's arguments by working miracles while he was preaching thus his arguments and the support of god by miracles earned him the title hammer of heretics st anthony was a warrior saint not an ecumenical one he was driven to convince heretics of their wrong-headed thinking and thereby convert them while encouraging the faithful to greater degrees of holiness st anthony is more commonly known as the patron saint for lost or stolen things this relates to the book of psalms anthony had that was very dear to him as it had his notes and comments he had made to use in his teachings a disgruntled novice who decided to leave the order left but he also took st anthony's book st anthony prayed for the finding of the book soon after the novice recanted his ways and returned to the order as well as returning the book to st anthony in another miracle he preached to fishes and as they began to gather in large numbers the heretics saw this and they realized that they should listen to what anthony had to say st anthony is also the patron saint of amputees animals brazil elderly people horses oppressed people poor people pregnant women shipwrecks and many many more he is patron saint of brazil because as the story goes rio de janeiro was being attacked by the french calvinist fleet the calvinists had great advantage over the brazilian catholics who could no longer offer an effective resistance at that point the franciscan friars took a statue of st anthony from their monastery to a central square in rio and set it on a column the statue began to provoke a general enthusiasm for the fight very soon a large number of young men entered the army with this it was possible to retake lost positions reorganize the resistance and make a counter-attack in a short time the calvinists were defeated and left the brazilian shore the fact that brazil did not become a calvinist country is due in no small part to the marvelous presence of a statue of st anthony st anthony's days were long and they were full in service of christ and the people he exhausted himself became ill and died in the year twelve thirty one at the age of thirty six many miracles occurred at his tomb and in the following year he was canonized by pope gregory the ninth st anthony is usually shown holding the child jesus and often with a book a lily and bread the practice of picturing him with the child is said to come from a story that while visiting a friend he was found holding the child breathtakingly beautiful and surrounded by bright light even in death st anthony has proven to be a miracle worker his body was exhumed three hundred and thirty-six years after he died and although the rest of his body was corrupt the tongue of the great preacher was found to be miraculously preserved 